going on YouTube? Ground Chuck here in the Ground Chuck Man Cave. Uh, gonna show you a couple pickups I got today when I was out treasure hunting at a couple antique stores and whatnot. Uh, I actually hit these antique stores last weekend. Saw a couple things I liked. Uh, wasn't able to negotiate anything with uh, the person because it was a female working and they did not want, they did not feel comfortable accepting my offer. So I knew it was going to be another weekend this weekend that I could do it. And I took a chance to go down there again and, and it paid off. So um, the first thing I got, I'm going to show you what I got there last weekend. I got these for a dollar a piece and I put them in my my uh, slabs that I have found on uh, on Amazon. So 1964 Tops coins, Elston Howard and Bobby Richardson got those for a buck a piece. So I put them in my slabs. So those are pretty cool. I like unique, odd items like that. Uh, also, they had some more recent stuff in a dollar box. Got a Isaiah Thomas starting lineup Kenner card. Those are tough to find in good shape. This wasn't bad. These weren't top loaded. I have top loaded them since then. Sorry about the glare. Um, you know I'm a Mariner fan, so a chrome rookie of James Paxton and the purple version of James Paxton. So those are a buck piece, so I was glad to add those. So that was five bucks. So I got those things last weekend. Uh, this weekend, when I went to the same place, uh, and I looked through some things last weekend. Like I said, there there was they had some index cards, autographs, and and stuff like that. And I was easily I was able to identify several. And there was four. There was, excuse me, three autographs in particular that I was interested in because they were Hall of Fame baseball players. And so uh, I uh, was able to go back down. He, he they were asking ten to fifteen dollars per. Per per uh, three by five card, it is a cut signature, but this is Mr. Al Lopez, and Al Lopez was a manager, and actually a baseball player too. Excuse me, a uh, baseball player for the uh, I want to say the Indians way back when, but he managed the Indians and the White Sox, uh, managed the White Sox to the World Series in the '60s, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Uh, but he uh, was a Hall of Fame inductee in 1977, and he passed away in 2005. So I'm glad to add a cut signature of a Hall of Famer who is deceased. So the next one is going to be Mr. Burley Grimes on a 3x5 card. Again, the 3x5 cards are not in bad shape. But you know what? The signatures are just... They, they're. Not like today's signatures with players, but uh, I put Burley right there. And Burley was voted in the Hall of Fame in uh, 1964. He was a 64 inductee, and he passed away in 1985. So he had over, I think he had like 200, over 270 wins, if I remember correctly. And I also read up a little bit that he was one of the last uh, spitballers that when it was legal to still, still throw a spitball. So that's pretty cool. Um, next one, it's my third and final one, is, and there was two of them, so I picked them both up, and it is William Harold, aka Bill Dickey, not, not Dickey, excuse me, Bill Terry, why did I say Bill Dickey, I wish it was a Bill Dickey, uh, but Bill Terry played for, uh, the, the, uh, New York Giants, and he he was voted in the Hall of Fame or Hall of Fame inductee in 1954. He passed away in 1989. So I got, there's one behind there. I put it back there. But uh, so I got four cut signatures of Hall of Famers. They were asking 10 to 15 a piece. I said, I'll give you $5 a piece for them. Uh, so I was offering 20. The guy said, you know what? He says, I want, I would like 25. And so. He came down on his price, and I was happy with paying $25 for four Hall of Fame autos of deceased players. So, I am very happy with those. So, that's pretty cool in my in my uh, collecting experiences to be able to find some autos of some uh, Hall of Famers. And so, 
I was glad to add those. I've been looking at their their signatures and stuff, and and they look really legit. So I'm not too concerned. It's it's just gonna go into my PC anyway. So thanks for watching YouTube, and uh, until next time, stay uh, stay safe and stay healthy. And thanks again for watching. See ya.